Brittany Trotter, and I'm the flute professor at the University of the Pacific Conservatory of Music. I'm here today to provide you a short little tutorial on how to approach this year FMC MEA audition music for the flute. This year music was composed by our very own Ruth Britton. The first piece is marked dancing. You might want to think about approaching this first piece with a light, fun, cheerful, and bright tone color. You might also see in my score, I have marked some breath marks that might help you approach this piece. You also see kind of levels of dynamics. For me, I like to mark the levels between one to 10. So you see in my score, I have piano about around a three, then mezzo piano, four, mezzo forte, five, and then for my fortissimo, I'm gonna give that a seven. Not quite a 10, but yet still powerful enough with that seven. So to keep it with a nice dancing motion, you might want to play around with just the downbeats of the note so you can work on your phrasing and that's gonna help with your dynamic range. to achieve a really great hairpin but stay in tune is to think about your air direction. When we are at our softest, you want your air direction to go to slightly incline up. And when we are our loudest, we want to slightly incline our air downward as well. What is also going to help you is different vowels. So when I'm piano, I think about using the vowel ooh. Can you say ooh with me? Ooh. So you notice that we have not so much space in our oral cavity. When I'm loud, what I like to do is think of the vowel ah, ah, so we have a lot more space. So I'm gonna demonstrate a nice hairpin on a D, usually starting with my ear up for piano and then slowly incline down. And then I'm also gonna use the so I can create more space. Here it is. with that in your practice. One other thing to note is where is the peak of our hairpins? So you want to make sure that at your softest at the beginning, you are at on a D, very soft, and then your peak of that dynamic is actually gonna be on the first beat of the second measure on that G. That's gonna be your peak.
little bit more seasoning into your playing. What I mean is have fun with it. Make sure that every note that you play has energy behind it. One of the most challenging things about this um, particular piece is actually the last measure. We go from a nice accented um, F to a mezzo piano B flat. And similar to what I demonstrated in the second piece, you want to go from that off to an ooh. <laughs> 